Citizens insurance policyholders, listen up. Your rates are likely about to go up again. A rate increase for all policyholders approved by the company today. The company says it needs to make sure its finances can support another significant hurricane season. CBS News Miami's Chelsea Jones has more on how this will impact you. Citizens is seeing a lot of things happen right now. The first is that proposed rate hike that is happening because Hurricane Ian cut the company's finances by $2 billion. The other is requiring flood insurance, even if you don't live in a designated flood zone. Rates on the rise for citizens insurance policyholders, and you may wonder why. They're meant to be the insurer of last resort. They've become the largest insurance company in the state of Florida. Citizens has doubled its number of policyholders to over a million since 2021, and now they're proposing a 14% rate increase. Compared to the private market, um, it's pretty insignificant. At Honeyquote, we're seeing price increases of 25%. But Citizen says their surplus has lost nearly $2 billion since last hurricane season. And they say there's the potential for what's called a hurricane tax. Citizens becomes larger, um, which, is, which is the case and will continue to be the case. Um, there's a greater risk for homeowners to have to pay for any excess claims through, through a citizen's assessment. Essentially, if a hurricane hits, the company is at risk for a shortfall of billions. But that's not the only increase hitting policies. Over the next few years, Citizens is phasing in the requirement for flood insurance. Yaremes Gores opted for the coverage after seeing the devastation from Hurricane Ian and living downtown herself. It wasn't required by my mortgage, but it was something that I saw that was very necessary. And it'll be necessary for any new citizen's policy opened after April 1st. As for the rate hike, if approved by the state, customers' only other option would be to go to private insurers. Now, this hike does have to be approved by the Office of Insurance Regulation. If it passes, citizens will have this take effect November 1st. In Miami Lakes, I'm Chelsea Jones, CBS News, Miami.